Why do you do this of all, of all the things to do? Uh, it's going to kind of sound cliche, but I love it. And ever since I can remember as a kid, this is what I've wanted to do. And um, I have changed slightly. When I was younger, I thought I'd be more of a research paleontologist and really spend more time describing animals. And then um, I started... I started getting, doing volunteering with field and lab work and that's what I really fell in love with. So yeah. I've kind of shifted and done a 180 and now I'm pretty much all field and lab work and I don't really do all that much research. I really enjoy this end of the field. So Tyler, field work can be a lot of fun. I mean, you're making discoveries, you're finding things no one's ever seen before. You're getting to dig around in the dirt and play with fossils, which, you know, everyone's <laughs> dream. But I mean, it can be hard and it can be even dangerous and a bit scary. Have you had any particular uh, close calls or dangerous field days? Uh, I've, had quite, I've had quite a few. Um, one of the close calls that I have had back at the museum and I started cutting and as I was cutting the blocks, I noticed the blade was kind of acting funny. And right when I noticed that, I hear chung chung fish. And uh, the concrete saw that I was working, yeah. part of the blade had actually shattered Yikes. and sent a piece of flying shrapnel in my direction. And I just threw the saw down, kind of did the self pat down to make sure no metal was sticking out of me. And then all your parts are all still my, there. Everything's still there that I'm not like bleeding or gushing anywhere. Um, the saw blade had stopped spinning and there was a wedge like that missing out of the saw blade of metal and the rest of the blade was cracked and shattered. The heavy duty paleo. Yeah.